Hi, this is Dr. Lee from Intro Solution for the Ankle. Today we are going to talk about something that happens to a lot of people. People with diabetes, people after surgery, they all have this. It's called lymphedema. This is actually a topic that is kind of close to me because I am currently suffering from one. So today we're going to discuss why you get it and how you get it and what we can do to fix it. So stay tuned. Before you go any further, please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and like this video. We upload contents on a weekly basis, so you'll be able to follow on various topics of, of foot and ankle diseases as well as our case studies. So before we go any further, let's talk about what lymphedema is. Lymphedema is swelling or blockage of lymph nodes or lymph fluid. You may or may not know, lymph is a fluid that actually circulates around your body. Just like how you have your blood circulates around your system, lymph actually goes to every part of your body, including your foot and ankle. When the lymph system gets blocked, well, whatever reason it may be, it can cause swellings. It typically manifests as swelling of foot and ankle and also the leg, and that itself can be a cause of a pain. This happens frequently on patients who has diabetes, people with problems with their kidneys, people with heart condition can also get it also. People who are um, recovering from a surgery, whether it may be in their foot or especially their ankle, or if you have any kind of a tumors or have a blood vessel diseases, that can also facilitate for you to have lymphedema or swelling of the lymph nodes. So there are many ways you can get this problem to be treated. You can get yourself a compression stocking. As a foot and ankle doctor, I consistently give out um, compression devices like stockings for people who get swelling through their legs or foot and ankle due to the fact that they have a blockage in their lymph system. Or your medical doctor can also prescribe you medications that takes, takes care of some of the lingering fluid out of your leg or your foot and ankle areas. Or you can do special type of exercise. You can elevate your leg, which is very, very important. Also, you can get a special um, treatments like massage therapy for the lymphedema. And this massage therapy aspect is what I wanna be able to really discuss. As I have said previously, I'm currently being treated for my own lymphedema. With the approval from the facility where I'm being treated at, I thought that I'd give you um, a little bit of footage of what that actually, um, the lymphatic uh, drainage massage therapist is like. Please, it is really important that you understand that this is not a sponsorship or sponsor video by any means. But I just want to be able to let you know and then ask, you know, have you to experience my treatment so that you can kind of gauge on if this is going to be the right thing for you or not. So I'm here now. I'm going to get myself undressed and then get myself for the uh, experience one more time. This is going to be my second time getting this treatment done. First time I had done on my both of my legs. Um, some of you guys may know, I did have a um, broken leg about 25 years ago. So that's something that I've been kind of dealing with the different kind of swellings on the leg. So yeah, so we'll see what this actually comes out this time. So I'm all undressed and changed, ready for things. Not always be able to get these things, but let's get, let's just get the show rolling. Okay, so I am getting my lymphedema Massage here with a um, in IMD spa, and I'm actually with the owner, Ms. Iranian Makimoto, um, a good friend of mine. So, just want to be able to ask you because I'm not really um, really versed in every single part of the thing. So, tell me exactly what you're doing right now. Okay, what I'm doing right now, we have in the food the mechanical uh, movement of this machine what work in the bottom of your body, your entire nervous system. I'm doing a pressure point in your neck. What is I'm doing right now, uh -huh. it's one is a venous system and the other one is a lymphatic system. What in combination with the mechanical movement of the machine uh, and the pressure points, we unclog the deep and superficial lymph nodes for your entire body. Ah, uh, okay. And the lymphatic system system has more time to catch the toxins in the bloodstream. Okay. 
that is what's going on in your body. This is eliminating uh, retention of water and inflammation because the lymphedema it's made with inflammation and water storage in some air, areas of your body could be your legs could be your arms can could be any any part of your body you know one thing i actually do notice uh, that's slightly um, um you know worthwhile noting is the pressure is super gentle yes but i feel like if something is like melting away also this is something that i don't really get to really experience a lot the feeling yeah. it's exactly like that because the problem is Everything you do, okay, it's for accelerate your circulation. After this treatment, people really feel relaxed because the effect lower the, the flux of blood in the veins. So as a foot doctor, um, swelling of the leg caused by lymph, lymphatic drainage block this is something that I actually commonly encounter on a daily basis. So just want to be able to ask you, um, is there any kind of contraindication or situations that this massage will not be good for? Who is it not good for? Um, we just avoid some stage of cancer. Okay. Okay, because uh, really we don't want to mess it out with the lymph nodes. Okay. It's what uh, the, some, some patients, we cannot do it. But definitely after chemo, after uh, you release the, take it out of the tumors, all this kind of, yes, it's recommended. Because this has helped to clean up all the, the toxins and also remove inflammation from the body. And of course, the toxins from the chemo, the the medication that the patient take that helps a lot. But some stage of cancer, it's not recommended. But you can do in prenatal, you can do in kids, you can do anyone. So two occasions that I actually find most in people with frenical problems are actually two occasions. Number one being diabetic patient with the uh, slow moving of their venous systems or lymphatic system making their legs swallow. That's one. Another occasion that I actually see a lot with the lymphatic problems are when you have a surgery to the um, foot or ankle, especially the ankle area, people start to have a lymphatic drainage that is not really working so well and that often becomes source of pain or a delay in their recovery. Are they um, able to use this massage as a solution for their swellings as easily without any problems in? Yes, yes. Uh, we use um, special, the revolution is the name of our procedure here for um, especially who has problems from the um, waist down. Okay. okay. Diabetics especially who has um, a problem with accumulation of inflammation and return of water in the, the waist uh, down. And also, we use for traumatic and cosmetic surgery. Okay. Okay, uh, like liposuctions, uh, any, any kind of knee surgery, uh, kind of, in case the orthopedic, and knee, ankle, it helps a lot to eliminate the inflammation and swelling, especially the pain. A patient with one section, like, uh, feel really, really um, good about the pain. It's, it's released a lot of pain. And Not all the swelling of the leg or the foot and ankle are due to lymphatic blockage. So it is very important for you to talk to your doctor and find the causes of your problem. Once again, this is going to be a type of treatment for lymphedema. It's not really meant to be the treatment for everybody. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have liked, please subscribe to my channel and like this video, and I'll be able to upload more useful content for your foot and ankle conditions. Thank you very much. This is Dr. Lee from Intersolution Foot and Ankle. 
Be well.